Morning. I did this uh, watercolour a couple of weeks ago and I quite like it uh, but I'm going to I try to do this with sponges and acrylic but I'm going to do a watercolour sky first but I'll, I'll do wet in wet to start with and we'll see, see how we go so I, I can sponge all, all the texture on this background here and the water. So uh, right okay so up to the piece of paper this Fabriana, £130. I'll just enlarge it a little bit, and that'll do. Right, okay, put my little tablet to one side so I can see it. Uh, right, Hake. Hey. So I'll wet the paper, I'll give it a bit of a bit of a wet. I'm working vertical here so that you can actually see the process. I'm thinking about Terry Harrison. Have a look at his stuff on Google. Terry, I, uh, so one of my subscribers mentioned over the weekend that she had just done a workshop with him. I think he lives up in Woodbridge in, in uh, Suffolk, East Anglia. And I remember seeing Terry 30 years ago demonstrating for the art group I belong to. I saw three of his demos. Very, very entertaining. And I think he was demonstrating for Dale Rowney. A very, very good artist, well, brilliant artist, as it happens. Uh, right, <coughs> so they're, they're, that's my watercolour palette. I've just given them a bit of a, a wet with a, a spray. Let's get a bit of cloth. Don't need to have to, to rush this one. So I'll put a bit of bit of ochre on. I'm, I'm not going to go into the all over with this. I'll just go where I'm going to show sky. And we'll have a bit of blue with a bit of alizarin. Scrub away, get the paints a bit soft. Okay, that'll do. I'm going to put my watercolours away now so that they don't dry too much. And I'll just wipe them. I just watched Alan Owen's latest one, a lovely piece of Ted Wesson painting. He doesn't copy Ted Wesson, but he uses his style a lot, paints in the style of all. Nothing wrong with that. Ted Wesson was a wonderful painter. And and Alan knew Ted. Also, knife painting. Uh, on if you're in the UK and you watched uh, Country File last night, you would have seen three uh, pieces of work by my favourite artist, Catherine Williams, the the Ang Anglesey, North Wales painter, knife painter. Oh boy, absolutely scintillating. One was a landscape showing really uh, old stone cottages. In, well, but they looked so simple, but they're not, they're not simple. Uh, one, one was a, a small portrait in with a knife painting. Beautiful. That was valued about 4,000. The landscape was about 20,000 uh, pounds. But the one there was there, there was a drawing of, of an old farmer, and I've got an idea of seeing something similar to that in one of the books on Western. Uh, that was worth several hundred pounds. Catherine Williams, I think he died in 1904 or five, something like that. He's very old uh, and very wealthy. He did very well, had his art, <laughs> glad to say. Uh, but on the back of the landscape was a was a full length uh, portrait. But uh, and Mars, the M A A S, the, the art critic and, and the valuer, put a value of uh, well, he reckons it was better than the landscape, but I'm not sure about that. But anyway, if you've got if you missed it and you're in the UK, catch it catch it on iPlayer, and if you're if you're not in the UK, I'm sure you'll be able to find the BBC website and, and, and link up to it. It's an absolute joy to see this sort of stuff. Uh, right, okay, so I'm, I'm using the stay wet palette for this because the paints will stay a bit liquid. I want to do this fairly thin with the acrylic. 
so the membrane hasn't been soaking for long enough really. The water's just starting to come through and it's on a load of kitchen paper, just layers of it underneath, which I sprayed with a lot of water, keep it moist and keep it workable for days and days on end. I'm not going to use black in this, I don't think. Uh, so here we are, we've got uh, alizarin crimson, uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, viridian and uh, cadmium yellow. So sponges, so let's, uh, let's wet, the, wet the sponge, well I'll wet them all. Oh I'm really excited about doing this. It's so different to brushes. Terry Harrison used to use quite a lot of masking fluid to keep his whites white and he, when the, the acrylic was dry, or it dried off, just rub the masking fluid, the, the latex, off with your finger and you've got nice pure white paper to work on. Right, okay, let's find the spring, nice spring, bit of green, so I can't sh let's let you see everything I'm doing because my camera setup won't let me do it. So, uh, well. I'll put some blues behind this. The reason you, uh, that I've done the sky like this and using wet, wet sponge rather than neat paints on the sponge is that acrylic doesn't bleed out like that. It, it goes bleeds out to a certain way and then stops so you get hard edges around it. There are chroma colours which are hundreds of times more soluble than acrylic in water and make a series of inks. Just a bit of alizarin behind that, a bit of white. And it gives me a foil to, to go over. There's a bit more wet in there. keeping the left hand side subordinate to the right otherwise it will look as if I'm repeating myself. And we'll get some uh, red, blue and yellow. Bit of, bit of wet. We'll put in some, some rough down the river, the wandle. Me. Still a lovely, lovely weather we're having in London, in the South East. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got 80, 70, let's, uh, let's keep it metric. A wonderful uh, day yesterday, about uh, 25 centigrade in April, that's quite incredible for us. It's cooling off now, but a bit of rough ground here. Right, I'm going to change the sponge into a bit of a yellow. I don't know why, but I'm going to, because I, it's in the original painting, so let's just, the light shining on that, I'll, I'll use a bit of burnt sienna, I think, as well. So we've got uh, two, three, four, five, we've got six colours, plus white, of course, which doesn't count. Uh, right. Right, I'm going to get some, some uh, nice uh, shadow areas in, in the uh, uh, 
in the trees here, a bit, a bit darker. And I will do some rigor work in this to paint in my sort of spindly trunks. Oh, I'll go a bit darker in there. So I'll use a bit of light, a bit of the cad red. Sorry about the noise. Good, nice shapes there. Right, okay, now some green. Okay. Now the paper is, is very uh, smooth compared to arches, so I, we're not getting the, the hit and miss. So, right, let's just put in some some grasses poking through. Some, some of that light back. Which I just want to just establish some water in in the reflections. So pretty, you put a yellow, put a yellow ochre on it. Let's just sparkle in that. I listen to the radio, keep me going mad. Oh, then it changes station. Sorry about this. Ah, it's probably fine. Right, okay, back to concentrating. Right, let's know, I'm going to clean sponge and I'm going to put some light back in, in this now and in there, it's just a little bit too dull but because it's acrylic and it dries very quickly we can do that blue, blue velocity. Open it up a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm working the right way with this. Shadow now. Oh, 
Well, let's go to the Zuri Rigger boat. That seems uh, to work. Let's get a bit darker than that. Just make sure the three primaries for my tree trunks. Choosing the edge of the sponge here. It's a little bit better, that gives a bit of definition to the trees. And we'll mix a bit of yellow and a bit of green colour in here. Trying to keep this all to a limited technique. Drink that water. To my brush. So blue yonder or yellow yonder. Alright, so a bit of bit of yellow and white I think. Alright, let's just put a bit of detail on the top of this. And I was brighten up that background a bit. Maybe the yellow works in the watercolour, it doesn't look so good on, on here, but then I, I forgot to put the yellow ochre out. Okay, well, let's just do, do a bit of blue and a bit of white. You can easily cover what you've got underneath. So let's put a bit of, bit of green in those trees now. Just viridian and the yellow. Can see a bit of light. Can see white, that mix. Right, I want some darker shadow now in here. This this is just looking all a bit of a bit of a, a mess, a mess, not a mess. Best to follow. Right, okay, so just the red and the blue. Oh maybe a bit of yellow. It's the three primaries. Just wishing the spine. I'm using more water than I have done. Of late, so that's where I want the shadow in there. Uh, 
Fine, I'll go back in the landscape now. wet. Could it be dark otherwise the water won't really show up against it. Load of colour in this. That's red. It always goes well if you I don't overuse it as a neat colour. Turner was a master at it. But it's pretty against the greens. <coughs> Two some more here. Just those three colours, three primaries. when I put my water in it, hopefully it will sink. Even if I don't. Right, okay, another sponge. Right, put those colours in, very light heat now. Oops, yeah. Don't want too much white in this. I want those that bluey colour. Going off into the distance. And the darker blue. Right now we've got that light shining through there. So a bit of yellow in with the mix. This bit here. Okay, now to make that shine show off, I'm going to. Put some dark bank around it, show a bit, bit of reflection in that now with the, with the dark. Then I'll, I'll, I'll really use the rig, I think. Right, let's uh, go with the vigor, let's try my hands. Just a little bit with the vigor. Uh, let me find it. My easel collapsed this morning when the legs decided it would uh, misbehave and the whole lot collapsed on one side, which was a bit annoying to say the least. I've had a good weekend, I've been barbecues out. I'm making most of this, this weather. 
Right, I'm just going to use the red, the blue and the yellow to make a dark. Just Do you know I don't think I like that, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use the edge of a sponge because that's how I started so let's squeeze it out a bit. Okay so now let's have a bit of, bit of, bit of light. Using the edge of the sponge, right? just to get some highlights in there. Catch it. And I think the final bit will be just to put a bit of light back in, in some of that background there. So just going over those darker bits, background, so it counts to change. Okay, right. Now then. Just lighten up some of that. Very private session. Oh, I don't think there's much more I can do with that. Rather than maybe put a bit of nice uh, spring green. Go to those reds. Okay, I'll put it in the mound and we'll have a look, see what it says. I suppose I could really go back over the sky with sponges, but that was the object of the exercise. Put it in the blue mound, I think. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? I suppose we could put a couple of figures in. Uh, all right, figure brush. Figure with a rigger. It's got to be. It's got to be orange. So let's just put a figure in. Jesus. So I'm going to give you some arms. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it's a little, little bit small. So we also that. No, it's just too big. I don't think I like him. Let's take it out. Maybe. 
Take it on and do the figure than anything else. Okay, that's it. It's not a portrait, it's just a, just an added, added bit of detail. <coughs> Give scale to everything. I, got, I, got, I suppose I could do a... So I probably won't like this, but... Bit of... Blue. Mixing the three primaries, you, you can get some nice darks. You don't have to use black. Oh, you love black, but you don't have to use it. Okay, got it. Give it a signature and all of a day on that one. Birds. I think we could put a bit of a, a little bit of a reflection as he's standing on the edge. Okay. Well, there we are. It's a bit, a bit muddy, but then I'm not um, a greatly, I'm not greatly experienced in this sort of painting. Uh, maybe. Well, it's a painting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.